Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today we are in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. And I wanna share with you guys how I edited this photo, but I'm gonna take you all the way back to the original photo and take you through the entire process from start to finish. Okay, so here we go. We got a shot of my motorcycle. I shot it late in the day. There was a beautiful sky, as you can see. Um, there's some golden light that's drizzling on the grass. So basically, this is a backlit shot. And what I do, did is I used high speed sync with a couple of flash RF60s and the new V62 in high speed sync so that I could I could pop this thing. And let's just look at how I shot this. Um, let's see. It is. Uh, 1 hundredth, one sixteen hundredth of a second at f2.8 ISO 100. Okay, so to, in order to shoot at 1 sixteen hundredth, I had to use high speed sync. And you can see it was only six o'clock. This was done a little bit ago um, before the sunset was setting so early. Um, so we still had pretty good light in the sky. All right, so here we go. So the very first thing that I want to do here is I want to uh, change my color balance. It's, it's I'm mean, sorry, my white balance. It's looking a little bit cold. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this thing up here and I'm going to get to a point where I think it looks pretty good. And that's pretty good right there. And I think that it's a little bit green, so I'm just going to add some reds to it. And and I'm doing this and I'm trying not to look at the, the values over here. I'm just kind of doing it, you know, to a point where, I, you know, I, I do it by eye. So let's just start with that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now, I want to just take my highlights down a little bit there. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm holding the option key to mask that. And then I'm also going to bring up my shadows and you can see where the, the areas. Okay. So for example, if I bring my shadows down, you can see that those areas are completely blown, blown out or they're completely black. And then I'm just bringing my shadows. I'm opening up my shadow detail, something like that. And I'm also going to do it by feel. Okay. I'm also going to bring my blacks down. So I'm kind of like going back and forth here. And I'm just kind of like looking and checking as I'm doing this. And then we can go the before and after. So you can see already there's a little bit more drama. Now what I want to do is I want to boost those midtones with my clarity. And that's also going to give the illusion or the impression of sharpness. It's going to kind of tighten it up. Now, that's way too tight, but it's kind of cool. It's a little too sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up to a point where I think it looks nice and crisp. There, something like that. All right, now I'm just going to check my highlights. I'm just going to bring those puppies down a little bit as well. And I want to add a little bit of contrast, a little bit more drama to that sky. Boom. See how that does? Great. I'm trying not to lose any detail on the bike as well. I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance. Yeah, we're just going to pop that in there and maybe just a little bit of saturation. Boom. Something like that. Wow. Now look what happens when you really pump it up. It looks kind of nuts. But um, I just want to get a little more color in the sky and a little bit more of that kind of orangey kind of vibe that we have going on down here. Very cool. So now let's look at the before and after. So you can see that it has a completely different look. The sky has much more of a dramatic color. Um, that looks really cool. Now what I also want to do is um, I'm going to just maybe pump up a little bit of the, the colors here manually. So I'm going to grab my little selector tool. And I'm going to just jump right in here and I'm going to click and I'm going to slide up. And what that's doing is that's pumping up some yellows. But I also want to manually pump up some greens because they're not pumping up enough for me and I want that grass to be really green. So I'm going to do something like that. And let's just see what happens if we grab some of the blues up in here, if that actually does it for me. Yeah, it's still grabbing the oranges because it's got more sky going on. So we'll try it over here. Nope, still grabbing some oranges. So let's grab the blues. We'll just pump up the blues a little bit, something like that. That looks pretty darn cool. Um, let's see, we don't need that. So what I want to do is actually, you know what, let's just go back into that. We'll go into manual and I'm going to add some lens vignetting just to kind of tighten up this sky and just bring it a little bit down. So I'm taking the amount and I bring the midpoint lower than the amount. Something like that. That looks pretty cool. That's very cool. Now let's just look at the before and let's look at the after. The before was a little bit flat. It didn't really have a lot of vibe to it. It didn't really have that glossiness to it. It didn't have any warmth. After, bam, that looks awesome. That looks really nicely lit. That looks cool. Sorry if I just bumped my mic. Um, I'm not going to go into any highlight vignetting right now, but what I do want to do is I might want to just get rid of some of the, what's going on over here. So I'm going to grab the, the uh, brush tool with the K that gets me to the brush. I'm going to double click on that to reset it. Um, there we've got it reset. And what I want to do is I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to make it a little bigger and I'm using my, um, I'm scrolling on my mouse to do that. 
and I'm going to paint on here, okay? And I'm going to hold down the over, the, I'm going to put down the O key. And what I'm doing is I'm painting on here, but I'm using a lot of feathering, okay? Because I don't want it to be too tight. I want it to be a little bit natural. Not actually, that's way too much. So you know what? I'm going to just grab my pin here. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to have to feather this thing down a little bit because it's just way too much. So I'm going to do something like that. I just want to kind of just get down into this lower section here. Just something like that. Boom. And let's just get in here. We'll just clean that up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the overlay key off. And now I'm going to bring my highlights down. I'm just going to see how that does. And you can see it starts starting to darken just a little bit. And I'm also going to bring my exposure down just a hair. Just something like that. Okay, cool. So what that's doing is just kind of like eliminating um, some of that luminance that was in the bottom of the frame there, you know, just giving a little bit more separation to the bottom, which I think is cool. And maybe I'll just, I'll just, oh, that doesn't matter. I'll just maybe just paint this a little bit more over here. I'll use my O key just so I can see where I'm doing this. Paint it over there, just a little bit over there. Just something like that. Boom. Okay. Very cool. That's really nice. Now, there's something else that I want to show you guys that's really, really cool. I've got the lights on on the bike, but because I was throwing a flash on the front of the bike, you can't really see that the lights are that lit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Photoshop. Boom. So we're going to go into um, photo, edit in, and we're going to go to Photoshop CC 2015. And uh, we're going to open anyway, blah, blah, blah. And this is going to pop open Photoshop. And there's our beautifully edited image from Lightroom. So what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of drama to this image, okay? A little bit more, like it's not dramatic enough. But I feel like the lights are not getting their due because even though they're on, the flash was blasting right onto the front of the bike and it kind of diminished the effect of those things. So I'm going to go to Filter and I'm going to go to uh, Render to Lens Flare. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to create a new layer, Command-J. And I'm going to call that um, Flare 1. Boom. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. And actually, look, it's already on the headlight, which is cool. Um, I did do a dry run of this before. And it's on the 50 to 300, which gives it kind of an orangey, reddish, weird vibe. Uh, the 35 does that as well. 105, nice, bright, LED-looking light. Movie Prime gives us laser beams. Don't want that. So we're going to go with the 105. Now, that's bright. That's 100%. That's washed out. Okay? So let's just roll it up a little bit until we get something that, that seems, seems like it's got a vibe to it without being overwhelming. And I'm going to do something, something in that category right there because it is our headlight. Boom. And I hit OK. Nice. Very cool. That looks awesome. All right. Definitely cooler than it looked before because, again, that's how it looked before. That's pretty cool now, even with the little flares there. All right. So now I want to also add some flare to these fog lights, which also happen to be on. So I'm going to do Command J. I'm going to call this Flare 2. Boom. I'm going to go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. And what I want to do is I'm going to move my lens flare over to this little fog light. I'm going to bring it all the way down so I can see where my X is. And this little fog, this guy's in the background, so he's not going to near, be nearly as bright, nor is he going to be as bright as the headlight. So we'll bring this up. We're going to stay at the 105. Maybe I'll bring it up to somewhere in that vicinity, and we'll hit OK. That looks great. That looks very cool. I mean, before, after, it just has more of a vibe. All right, cool. So now I'm going to do oh, Command-J. I'm going to hit another layer and call this Flare 3. Three, boom. I'm going to go to Filter, Render, Lens Flare. And now we're going to move our flare over to this light here. Boom. And because this, this light's a little more frontal, I'm just going to give it a little bit more flare. I don't need to go crazy here. Just a little bit more. Boom. There it is. That's it, guys. That is our final image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. And what it's going to do is when I save it, it will save it back into Lightroom, which is cool. So if I go into Lightroom, there is our image. Okay. So now let's check out the before and the after. How cool is that? And look, we started with, with this image here. That was our flat image out of the camera, which was still pretty cool. 
Then we pumped it up. We got the sky looking cool. We got some nice crisp action going on here. We got this, this beautiful like glowing light to, to really pop on the grass. And then we took it into Photoshop and we added the lens flare. And there we go. That is our final image. Very simple, very quick, very easy. So there you go. Some advanced editing in Lightroom with a little bit of our help, a little bit of help from our friend Photoshop. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you soon.